Depression. Depression is often regarded as an acute case of a medical condition that adversely affects the overall feelings, thinking, and acting of personal well-being. Depression can ignite feelings of sadness, not passion about what you once have passion for. It can usher in quite a number of emotional and physical damages and can bring down your seal to function at your optimum both at work and at home. Depression is often associated with symptoms ranging from feeling sad, losing interest in activities you once had pleasure in, too much sleep, or lack of sleep, too much weight or loss of weight, feeling of worthlessness or guilt, having a hard time, concentrating, making major decisions, suicidal thoughts and thoughts of death. Studies have shown that depression affects an estimated 1 in 15 adults, 6.7%, in any given year. And 1 in 6 people, 16.6%, .6 will experience depression sometimes in their life. Based on gender, women are likely more than men to experience depression. Studies have indicated that one-third of women will experience a major episode of depression in their lifetime. Depression can affect the emotional and physical state of anybody, even those living in ideally peaceful and serene environments and circumstances. A number of factors are associated with depression. Environmental factors like poverty, violence, abuse may result in depression. Personality type can also be a cause of depression like a pessimistic person, people that have low self-esteem. Genetic factors can also be a cause like differences in chemical changes in the brain can also be a symptom of depression. But fortunately, depression is a treatable mental illness. Studies have shown that 80% to 90% of depressed patients respond to treatment. Before any treatment, it is advisable that a health professional should conduct a thorough diagnostic evaluation and physical examination. When it comes to medication, an antidepressant is usually prescribed to help in the healing process. Psychotherapy is usually used as a measure for mild depression treatment coupled with the use of antidepressant medications. Psychotherapy can either involve the individual or the individual's family and friends. Another method may also include electroconvulsive therapy. This measure is usually reserved for patients with severe depression conditions. Dealing with depression is possible. It is an acquired skill rather than an inherited trait. Anyone can have high self-esteem if they really want to, but it might be difficult for some people to think positively about themselves. Most folks have to experience self-doubt virtually every time. Low self-esteem can be induced by being treated badly by others recently or in the past, as well as by one's own evaluations of oneself. Here are a few ways to boost your self-confidence. Accept praises that highlight your qualities and abilities and keep a good attitude about yourself. Don't overestimate your abilities. Trying to be flawless and comparing yourself to others might cause self-esteem problems. Recognize that mistakes happen to everyone. It is not good to be hard on yourself peradventure you make mistakes. Make errors and learn from them. Pay attention, without passing judgment on others. People's diversity should be respected. Recognize their accomplishments and strengths. Recognize the contributions made by others to your family, business, and community. Encourage and support others' efforts to learn new things. Give your family members unconditional affection. Spend a good time with friends who make you feel happy. Make an effort to do things that make you feel valuable. But, above all, exercising can be a practical way to boost one's self-esteem. When all those endorphins are pumped up, it's difficult to feel down. Plus, if you feel like you're doing something good for yourself, your self-esteem improves.